All right. It's time. It's almost going to be life set seven. So I decided I'm going to make a small little tier list for units slash explanation on how every units work or, or and which units you want to play. We're going to start with, we're going to separate this into carries, tanks, and utility. Uh, S will be for the optimal, something you always want, something you always want to put in. Replace a unit, for example, meaning that A units are good. You can itemize them, you can put them in, but usually you want to keep it on the S. You want to itemize your S units. It's not bad to keep it on A, but S will, like I said, always optimal. D are units that are pretty bad. They're okay. They can be useful as a trait. And that's it. That's their whole use. They're not great. They're there. Sometimes you have to play them, but it's not something you want. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to take from this pile. It's not in any par particular order, but we start with Nidalee. Astral's being the most accessible comp because there's three Astro units and a couple two star two two costs. So Nidalee, it's a it's meant to be a carry. We're gonna talk about how they're designed, they're what they're meant to do. And Nidalee does no no utility. She's not a tank. Maybe with shapeshifter, not not really. So she's meant to be a carry, but she's not great. There's a lot of inconsistencies. She is a melee carry, which has a lot of trouble surviving. So you're never going to really want to play this character. So I'm going to put her on D for definitely not good. So let's go with uh, Nami. Nami is a great character. She has the healing. A lot of it. Jesus, too much. Uh, and the damage. She can keep your team alive. You can usually hit her with astrals. You can give a shoujin to her. Shojin is a great item. With you can scale too, because she can usually go infinite when you play her early game. You can hold the items on her and give them to give them to a real and soul at the end. If you have a magnetic remover, but overall, Shojin power. Not usually no defense. If you want to spice things up, you can go War Mox to you know make sure you stay alive before she ults. She'll heal back to full in recycle i uh, will also give you the items for each unit if you want to play them for example nidalee if you want if what you really need is uh this ginsu's ginsu rage blade is a great item in set seven uh fights go on for a lot longer than usual so your your scaling with ginsu's usually gives you the win that's kind of like a, a win condition for a lot of units in this set ginsu's and healing it's always Ginsu's healing and maybe something to survive apart or just more damage. But BT, Hextech, and Hodge. BT being the best, best of them because of the shield. They all provide healing. But BT usually the best because of the of the shield that it gets. Hextech is good for backline units so you can heal the front line so you can, don't waste the heal. You can get a, more, a lot more value out of it. But those are the three options. So, let's go with Esril. Esril is a good unit. Pretty early on, you can do a lot of damage. You have physical and magical damage. Uh, something that I do want to touch on is that a lot of units have a very mixed amount of damage when it comes to physical and magical. So, those carries that don't have one specific a type of damage usually aren't great in this scenario you, we used to have bodyguard trait with which was mostly about physical damage and you would get stuck in them if your carry only did one damage that was you know that would have been great in that scenario but now there's no bodyguard all the damage is very mixed and all the defense is mixed as well example cavalier so as real it's an okay unit. Late game, you don't want the, you don't want him. You probably want to move items. You, I'm gonna put him on A. You can itemize him early. It'll give you a good lead, and maybe you can sell him late game because of Tempest is not honestly the best thing in the world. It's not like a what call it? 
a, a vertical. It's not a vertical trait that you, you just go play. But you can itemize him early. He'll do a lot of damage. Give him blue buff. Uh, magic damage. Ginsu is also good. If you find a blue battery, a blue buff, and Ezreal, ah, perfect. You can hit like you can go fast nine, fast eight with that. So let's grab uh Deja. Deja's the premier carry for Mirage. She's probably the only carry you're gonna go besides uh Yone. Yone is also really good, but Deja definitely belongs to S tier. It's an eight cost. My God, still really good. The only item you need on him is on her. Him, her. I'm gonna confuse that a lot. Ginsu's. Uh, he stacks a lot. After he uses his first ability, he makes a barrage of autos. I believe all of the autos count, so you stack that really fast. If you have Spellblade, if you have uh, Spellblade, Downbringer, all of those are good on her. And there's the Duelist too, which is a Mirage, uh, different types of options. And she does really good with Ginsu's on that. So Ginsu's healing, Hextech or Hodge, whichever option you have. And I don't know more damage. Any other action? Jewel Gauntlet, um, CC immunity. There's a lot of CC in this set. So, uh, silver. What's it? I always forget. Quicksilver. Quicksilver Sash. Really good. Keep her uh, out of harm's way from CC so she can stack up, ramp up, and kill everything in, in her way. So play Deja, and you'll you'll be okay. Skarner. Skarner is an okay tank. Tanks are mostly the ones that have abilities that give you more sustain, more that can take more hit points and win more time. And Skarner has a decent uh, ability, gives him a shield, but that's okay. It's not the greatest. You re really, you don't really want to put items on it, but I've seen it be okay. Uh, since you need to, you know, scale a bit early with uh, Astros, you might want to put tanks items on him. It's up to you. Uh, I've seen some optimal options. You can move him Titans uh, or the classic. The, most of the tanks will have these three items. Uh, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is very good these days. Oh, wait, give me a second. Is this recording? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that would have been a shame if it wasn't. So, Dragon's Claw is really good. The more enemies on, a, on your character, the more you'll heal. It used to be Bramble, but Bramble's not doesn't feel really good anymore what's really good now is stone plate with bramble no sorry stone plate dragon's claw and war Mox. those are your premier tank items the best best in slot uh stone plate has been really good lately i've been using it and it wins a lot of time so Car skarner's at least on d so uh let's grab Elawi. Elawi is pretty decent it's kind of in between tank and utility she has a sh shred steals defense pretty large radius i think it's pretty good i'll definitely go with with a Ilawi if you would like there's not a lot of positions for her only like bruiser astrals she's an a she can do good as a utility and a tank but it's not something you really want to itemize most of the time astros would itemize her which is not the best but like i said if you don't have healing and shielding it's just you know you you won't go as infinite as one would like but you give him the premier item and it can be good if she did a little bit more damage you could give her something that heal that's uh has a uh, omni vamp but she doesn't so we'll call her a day here are the the basics varus varus is decent he has a lot of utility he's the utility option a lot of the astral units aren't like super strong that you feel really good itemizing them which is good because you know you can three star them very easily but he's definitely at, like an a, a utility you can put him in he'll you stun three targets you give him going to shojin and he can stun lock people forever he can be good he does a decent amount of damage but he most most of he just belongs to utility Kinsu's Rage Blade and I think it's an extra item. You can give him healing. I don't think that's super necessary because he's backline. You can give him uh uh the third option is really situational. So do that. 
do with that information as you please. A Radiant Soul, too strong. I mean, Morda says that he's he's a 10 cost, so it makes sense that he's really strong. But he's definitely an S tier carry. Uh, if you put Invoker in, you need to play Invoker with him. And he'll cast and cast and increase the damage and size of his wormholes. And he'll carry you easily. So, yeah. Just give him Shoujin. Shoujin. And Shoujin. Just kidding. Give him Shoujin. Healing item. And the the third item is fairly optional. Could be a Silver Sash. Another Shoujin. Do whatever you have at the moment. But optimally, I'd even... I don't know if I would go on a Shoujin because they did decrease the mana. It's only 75 now. You could even give him a blue buff. That's not that's not bad. But things will change. I think they they want to change him a bit. But as of now, pretty strong. Definitely something you want in, in the late games. Twitch. Twitch, it's basically a utility character. He has uh, penetration, uh, throws a ball in, in a circle. 40% of the armor... It's shredded. And with guild, a lot of the guild units are in utility. You can put him in and he gives 10 attack speed to every every one of your units. And with swift shot, it can, you know, give Barris uh, a, a little bit of a boost. He's alright. Don't itemize him. They don't want you to itemize him. They nerfed him so much. Or they didn't nerf him a lot. But it, they made it clear that they want him to be utility and not a carry. Because, I mean, you don't want a guild uh, member or a guild unit to be able to be carried. Because you can just flash it in very easily. And it can be like a universal carry. You can, but it's not super strong. Alright. So, Ash. Ash has the problem that she has mixed, uh, mixed damage. Physical and magical. And the magical doesn't do that much. But it is a good area. It does a lot of damage. It's kind of like a reprint from last set. You can give her Ginsu's so she can uh, spam. Kind of like Barris, Ginsu's Shoujin. You can go, you know, IE. It doesn't feel good because she's not like a great carry. I would put her like a D carry because, you know, all she does is damage. She can't attack speed slow, but that's not that big of a deal. It's only like 20% and, and it does not scale. Nope, it's going to be a D for me. I've never seen her carry. Vladimir. Vladimir is decent. As a, he's a decent tank. I'll put him on A. You can put items on him if you're going to reroll early. So put items on him. I've been for a while. I've been trying with double trouble. But there's so much to see in this uh, economy slash set that he can't go infinite. He could, you know, if you give him Titans, Titans or, you know, the items that I've talked about. Give him Stone Plate, uh, Dragon Claw, and even an Archangel so he can scale his uh power so he can heal more and do more damage but like i said dies really quickly no can't go infinite a lot of these units can't go infinite these days sadly which is okay it's healthy so vladimir a uh swain this guy's been nerfed so much since pve he did a lot of damage he can be at a, a carry uh, if you three star him he can stay uh he can be good but doesn't feel good anymore. He's been nerfed to the ground, I feel. Uh, give him Ginsu's skill up. Uh, Ginsu's, even an Archangel. Ginsu's Archangel and Hodge or a BT to heal. And he'll go infinite if you give him the Dragon Mancer buff, which also was nerfed. But that's the way you play uh, Swain. But he's A, like I said. Not something that late game you're going to feel good about. Uh, Saya. Saya is definitely an. Oops, sorry. Saya is definitely an S tier. Oh, an S tier. She can uh, carry pretty hard. Her ability hits a lot of units. That's the difference between Swain and Saya. Swain only hits one target, while Saya hits multiple and can burst multiple targets. That's you know something that a good support, a good carry can do. Which makes me a question: What Nami? Can do. She's just a good unit overall. Even if you're not, it's not great late game. She's just a good unit. Saya, on the other hand, like I said, give her Ginsu's, stack up those feathers, uh, IE, and Last Whisper. Or you know, Ginsu's Last Whisper to me, it's also good, good enough. You can give her uh, Death Blade 
or if there's a lot of CC and rebels in, in the field, give her the silver sash or quicksilver. Overall, great unit. Can be splashing a lot uh, a lot of comms with a uh, swift shot. Let's have Corky. Corky is also a S tier carry. He still hits a lot of people. Uh, the AOE is good, so you don't want to get stuck in one target. Uh, Rebel's great. Give him definitely give him last whisper. I haven't done the science. I don't know when you when the the, the attack that's gonna apply last whisper. I'm not sure if that gets applied. Uh, gets the damage itself. Or ignores the armor, but if the nuke does that, and it's perfect, but it's it's really good, so you can one shot enemies with the nuke. Yeah, uh, last whisper, i.e., and blue buff. I think it's good because you want to you want to cast as early as possible. That cat is gonna make the difference. You want to blow things up. Rebels have a lot of burst, and the fifth auto of the cannoneers, it's when all their burst goes through. After that. If they didn't die, you can tell that the situation is going to get worse unless you scale. But overall, blue buff IE, last whisper, in my opinion. Could be other options. All right, we have, uh, let's grab Talon. Talon has not been a great unit to carry with. He has too much mana. I don't know why they nerfed him so much. Maybe so they, they can stop him from jumping around and stealthing. He basically has a built-in Guardian Angel, which is not OP because of the mana. So I guess that's a good balance, but he can get caught easily. His attack only hits one target. They need to buff the swords, the attack that the, the swords do all around. They tickle, basically. And when an attack tickles, you're basically giving mana to the enemy team. So that's not ideal. So it's definitely a D, D tier. You don't even want it as a utility for the carry. Because only the 10 AD doesn't do justice. Zoe. Zoe is, in my opinion, not a great carry. Definitely a great mage flat on. If you don't have mage, it's not going to work out. I'm going to put her on A because she's just not that great. Uh, you can, She can do a lot. Uh, if you, give, you definitely want to give her uh, Rabadon's death cap because of how mage works. You get double the AP technically. But she has three abilities. Uh, the Daisy, or Frontline. Uh, the Tornado, that is a Janna's ability. You get... You give attack speed and, and knock up everybody. And there is the immunity one. There's only one damage. One damage ability. If you cast again when Daisy's on the board, she will not make a knock up. So she can do that. But overall, Shojin Death Cap. Maybe... Some, uh, an extra item from there but those are the core items she can do good she can carry possibly but it's a get it's a bit of a gamble it's optimal it's okay but not optimal kiana kiana's great utility she is great especially as a as a tempest a lot of the tempest units are mostly utility because you if you if you have a current tempest on your on your build you can add one at uh, her in and you know you get the one second stun the true damage and that's pretty good she disarms uh riot does not want or the design team does not want her to be the carry they stated that she's she disarms and that's it you can build her carry if you want but not ideal uh orn orn it's not like a premier tank. He's okay. You can uh, you can put items on him and he can, will survive. But like I said, he has no healing, no shielding. But they give him a shit ton of HP. In comparison, at one at one star, he has 14, 1,400 health. So he's can be good, but usually he doesn't survive until the the ram comes in and he hits it for the stun. Bobro, fifty percent slow on his ability. Pretty good. Not bad at all. He can be okay. Give him the premier tank item, stone plate, more mocks, dragon claw. Shen. Shen is an S tier tank. This is where the tanks that win a lot of time and can secure you a lot of time come in. Shen wins like four seconds unless they have a lot of magical power and can burst you down. But he makes the mist, and with that, you are secured a 
33 seconds of front line, which is invaluable. No, that's what tanks do. They give you time for your carries to carry. That's all there is to it. Give him the premier tank items, and he's good. Redemption is also good, by the way. If you can't get those three items, uh, Dragon Claw or even uh, Warmox, give uh, Redemption. Redemption has, has pretty good utility. Heals and gives damage reduction. Idas. Idas, also a premier tank. I mean, it's one of the dragons, the Shimmer Skill Dragon. Most of the time, you'll have the the Shimmer Skill item on him, whether that's Mogul Mail or Diamond Hands. But Idas can survive a long time. When he casts, he immune to 50 flat damage on top of you know all the current mitigation so she can stay alive, heals herself, and heals all your friends. Pretty good. You can give her some AP if you want, but Redemption... Uh, the Shimmer Scale item, or you know, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw works even better on dragons. It's uh, upgraded for them for some reason. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Your two abilities, it's a Dragon's Claw. Haha. Uh -huh. So, yeah, sure. Do that. Iris, pretty good. Alshan. I mean, 10 cast unit, of course. Good carry. He skills way too hard with AP. He does 450 damage at this moment and shoots 20 projectiles. So you multiply 20 by 450 and every percent of AP gives you increases that, that amount. So give him some AP, give him two Shoujins and he can carry. Or Shoujin healing AP, give him some Seeks too. The faster he casts, the faster the game will end. Especially since he has Tempest, he'll do the Tempest damage. Well, Tempest will do the damage and then he can finish off. Pretty cool unit. Pretty nice. If you can hit it. Uh, Siphon. Siphon is insane. This and this um, current meta. Whispers is pretty good. It helps you ramp up. Just like Gwinsus does. So Gwinsus. Whispers. That's just a good formula for a carry. Goes infinite. Definitely give him a Hodge or a BT. Something to heal with. And that healing with the damage scaling. Will pretty much go infinite. Uh, go that. Go siphon with that. A Titans can be good too, so you can she, she can survive and scale up a little bit. And she's good to go. Shio Yu. Shio Yu, I feel like it's a it's a between S and A because he has the problem that he is a a up in your face type of carry, just like Siphon. And he can uh shred tanks because he has true damage on his second uh, auto from after he cast so give him titans titans have been really good bt titans and even green green suits since he's gonna survive a long time uh with a lot of jade healing he can go he can keep going infinite he can be pretty good uh, i have my doubts on him because of you know going frontline going forward can be a bit dangerous but overall pretty good units can't say He's A. He's definitely S. Kane. Kane is not it. I haven't seen him being carried. I've seen it like once or twice. Uh, you can. I think the problem with him is that he has a Rage Wing, which doesn't let him cast a lot. He only has 45 mana, which is nice. You know, a lot of. There's not a lot of blue buff usage in this uh, set. There used to be a lot before, but Kane could have used it, but with Rage Wing, lock your mana. It's not that great. I think he's like a D carry. You can try him in a special occasion when you want to have fun, do something different, spice things up. But overall, no. Give him, give him Hodge, BT, you know, healing, uh, Green Suits. That's that's honestly the the best. Mm, you can you can build him full damage because he does magical and physical. Go I E Jewel Gauntlet, so his his uh, swipe can one shot. But I doubt it can. And that's the problem. If you can't one-shot enemies, even with items, you better likely gonna carry by scaling with Green Suits. Since, you know, this meta is a bit slower. Alright. Shivana. Shivana currently is pretty bad of a unit. She can be good utility in tank. It can be okay. It can be A. But the traits aren't that great. Rage Wing isn't that amazing at the moment uh more says that they will buff her somehow 
at life because she doesn't do all that much. The knockup is good, but after that, even the damage feels a bit underwhelming for a 10 cost. So we'll see what happens there. But she can be splashing if you're not using another dragon, which I doubt. Uh, she can win a lot of time, even kill, even carry if you give her uh, titans. Uh, some people I've seen green suits, but it doesn't feel great. You can you can build her a tank for a little bit of a carry, but overall not great. Bard, S tier utility. Bard is such a great unit. Uh, you get more percentages on your roll after he casts, and a percentage for your units to create more boops. But he's pretty good. Stuns a circle, a giant circle, and those in the circle take extra damage. Uh, he's a mystic, so you can splash it in. His guilt makes people get more mana when they auto. So, I mean, he's just a great unit overall. You don't usually give him items. He has too much mana to like say that Shoujin's good. But if you have it, give it to him. Sure. A blue buff is good if you have extra. He can cast a lot faster. But overall, he's just a great splash on unit. That's all there is to him. Rise. Rise is pretty good, honestly. He takes a long time to scale, so he's more like an early game, not for a late game. So he's gonna be A. Uh, definitely give him Shoujin, uh, uh, some healing, and that's it. Shoujin? Give him more? Another Shoujin too? But he takes a little bit to scale, but he can be good. But not amazing. He needs Mage. I think he needs a very specific set of like. Situations to be met. So he's not that great. So he it's all about his mana. So give him mana items. That's all he needs. His damage skills with his mana too. Sejuani. Sejuani is not great. She stuns a little bit in a little small line. That's it. She heals a little bit. She tanks. She has guild. So she can give the team like 100 health. So unless you're going cavalier. That's great. But even without... Any other trade you don't want to play her because there's other things that do a lot more and trades that can help more. So she's not great as a tank. I mean, if you have Cavalier, so she's mostly a utility. But utility and tanks are kind of in the same vein. So yeah, we call, we'll leave it there. We'll leave her at D. Aviana. A tier carry. Definitely pretty good. If you find a Rebel Spat, you definitely want Aviana with her. Uh, she's the invoker, she'll cast a lot. Shojin, Morello even. Shojin Morello and some damage. Mm, even blue buff. But Rebel Spat's pretty good because of how Rebel works. They even have to nerf her. But overall, okay. Goes with Jade. People haven't figured out Legends yet, so we don't know anything on that end. Soraka is okay. He's, she's good utility. I'm going to put her on A. You can slap her in. If you have Jade, but overall, it's not like a great slap in that they didn't give her Mystic. Uh, they didn't want, you know, her to be like, just like Bart. You can just slap it in all the time. She's great. She heals. The heals pretty fast. I haven't used it myself lately, but I've seen it work. She's alright. The healing is good. It's not great. It's not amazing. It's not something you like, feel amazing to have. Nico. Nico's an amazing tank. She can take the protections of your the units that she's copying. That she's going to shape shift into. So, so that gives her all the HP. She has a massive stun. She That shield with the shapeshifter HP. That you can confirm. It's amazing. She has tank, time, stun. All, you, all the things you want out of a, a tank unit. So slap her in. Anywhere. Karma. Karma, it's terrible. Poor Karma, man. Karma doesn't do much. She has, I feel like she has too much mana. Even like at 50, it doesn't feel great to put like a blue buff on her. You don't really want to put items on her. It, it just doesn't work. They're definitely going to need to buff her if she is going to see any play this set. But yeah. She can do blue buff, i.e. and this thing. But she's not, she's not great. If you find Axiom Arc, maybe you can do a one-shot build with her. But, like I said, no. Tarek. Tarek feels pretty bad as a tank. 
because he has guardian he can feel pretty good but his ability feels wonky it's just like 30 protections at level at rank one like 60 at rank two well, it's only like giving protection to yourself and another unit for six seconds doesn't feel great it's low on mana i've seen three star Tarek can be okay with the healing from jade it can stack up it doesn't stack the, the ability by itself but it's okay and you get mana lock too so i don't like him no I'm good no 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 with cavaliers she can be a a tank you can't you kind of want her in she can be good if she survives she can you know do true damage to her unit which is very valuable and sometimes can eat the tanks i've seen people carry nunu once pretty pretty scary but overall she's just a okay unit to have cavalier it's a great frontline by the way if you want to slash uh if you can put like five four cavalier works like a charm all right leona leona is okay you can slap her in she can feel good like i said anyone with guardian feels like a great tank uh it shields yourself and your units for their max hp so warmox is really good warmox like i said warmox stone plate dragon claw premiere pretty nice but most of the time you're gonna give items to braum instead of leona if you're gonna have guardians in but she's okay it feels okay to have her if you have Dawnbringer, she stays alive for a long time but it's not something you want to itemize most of the time nar bad He's supposed to have a tank. He has a little bit of a knockup. He doesn't do all that much. He doesn't feel special. He's not great. I wouldn't even give you items for him. He's all right. Hecarim. Hecarim's definitely good. He's more of a utility than a tank. Because as a tank, he, he doesn't have any healing or anything that shields him or keeps him alive. He can oft, oft, often die before he casts. But he can, his cast can be really good. You know, so with Cavalier, he can definitely... Ensure one cast, stun the, uh, a lot of units, can be good. I'm going to put him on S utility. You, you want to slap him in most of the time if you have space for him. If you need a tank, he can be okay. Do you want to itemize him? Yes and no. Can be okay. Yone. Yone is an S tier carry. A lot of people have been playing Yone. He has very good consistent damage because he doesn't have mana and he can consistently do damage at the same rate you don't have to like oh i have to wait for him to get mana to kill a unit and go forward he consistently has the same amount of damage so pretty good green suits hodge um quicksilver pretty good items on him keep him alive skill of his attack speed he just goes with attack speed goes infinite and pretty good or if you have duelist uh you can go rfc rfc can be really good keep him out of the front line and he can, you know, do all the damage there. Or else he feels kind of bad, to be honest. But that's Yone. Pretty good so far. As a two cost, pretty good. Uh Oh, let, you know, let's go with Yasuo since we did Yone. That's, okay. Uh, Wait. Yasuo. Yasuo is pretty good. Uh, Five cost. They said that they were going to nerf him. He's pretty strong. Keep him alive as a tank. His third attack. Does a lot of damage. Does triple damage what they usually do. Yeah, he shields himself a good, a decent. He's pretty good with tank items, and with uh, somewhat damage items. But with Mirage, usually he can go pretty well. Can be pretty unkillable. So slap him some, slap him two times or three times, but keep him alive. Give some tanky items. Uh, give him IE or uh Last Whisper, and he'll be, he'll feel pretty good. But healing, definitely. He does a lot of damage, so he can keep himself alive. So Yasuo, slap him in if you have uh, the option to. Sona. Sona's great utility. Uh, she can cast a lot. She can't even carry right now, possibly. They might nerf her soon. But with the Invoker and the Rebel, she can do a lot of damage and stun. And, you know, also uh, cast pretty fast so slap her in if you have the uh, you have the chance slap her in with lulu and, and invokers are really good splash on units they help each other cast they don't need those items but if you, of course shojin's good on her she can keep casting give her some 
uh, uh, Ginsu's, possibly, or Moshojin, Zeke's, Aura, those are the best. A lot of, a lot of Shojin and Ginsu's lately, by the way. Uh, it's gonna be a broken record on that end. Uh, Jinx can be good, carry. She can do a lot of damage, you can feel good with her. She has Rebel and Cannoneer. You don't feel great giving her items. I've heard that the devs have the notion that it's not good to give her items. So, kind of no and yes. Can be good early if you can move items later better. But overall, she's good. She stuns. She does a lot of damage with her cast. I can't say that A is not bad for her. Now, uh, Set. Set is a unit that's really good. You don't have to give him items because he already has a good amount of defense on his cast. He's mostly a splash on unit, not something you want to give in, give in to. He's, he's A. Optimal unit to put in. Don't want to give him items for sure for the end game, but okay. Uh, Braum. Braum is S tier. S tier tank. Wins a lot of time. Mitigates a lot of damage when he puts his shield up. Put him in the front line. He has carried and tanked for me a lot. If you give him Anima Visage with Stone Plate, he'll go infinite. And he'll tank for you into like 5. Uh, f uh, round 5. Definitely a great unit. Uh, Guardian's good. His cast is good. S tier tank. Senna. Senna's okay. She can do damage, but it's not great. You don't want to give her items. The auto lock from Rage Wing. It's not great. It doesn't feel amazing. I even tried her today. It wasn't great. So, keep her at D. So you can slap her in for trades. She'll do okay damage, but not something you want to itemize. Nor really have, to be honest. Kench. Kench is an okay tank. Uh, he shields himself. Does a decent amount of damage. Probably one of the units that you can keep in there. And feel decent about. You know, it's not the worst. He doesn't, like, eat a spot. He feels okay. Give him certain items, but you can probably move items in the end. It's like I said, not optimal in A, but okay. He's alright. He's alright. Uh, Lilia. Lilia can carry, honestly. I've seen her carry. I think she has, out of all the Cavaliers, she's more of a carry with Mage. You can bonk a, a lot and do a lot of damage. Give him some healing, a lot of AP. Maybe a, like I said, Mage with uh, Robrance, Insane. Give her a Hodge, BT, and Blue Bulk. Yeah, 60, 60 mana, and with the damage they take, she can go infinite with 3 star. So, she's a carry. You can't give her items early. I haven't, I haven't seen it optimal, be optimal, but can't work. I don't mind it. And probably have a, a Ionic somewhere, so you, you can have some pen. Olaf. Olaf's pretty good. Uh, they nerfed him a bunch though. He, if you get him early, if you from a drop from a orb at round one, uh, definitely play him. He he will stack up infinitely. Put him in the front line, stack up his AD, and late game he can go oh, infinite too. Give him Ginsu's uh, uh Ginsu's healing, and Quicksilver, and that's it. He will keep going. Warrior's pretty good. Uh, does a lot of damage. They increase the, the chance to thirty three percent. So he'll heal with Warrior. Scorn does a lot of damage. And gives him tankiness against uh, dragons. If you're going to go Scorn. Also a, a good trait as well. Bali Bear. Bali Bear has been. Has all four of its legs cut off. He was the premier unit. At the start of PvE. But they really threw, threw her under the bus. They did not want her to be a carry. She basically is a slap on a unit. She can carry. She's a early game. If you get her, she can carry you for a bit. Give her items for late game. Can be bad. But I think it's A. She has her possibility to, you know, really win. If you give her Legend, Dragon Mancer. She can go off, King. Uh, Ginsu's healing or one shot. You can give her IE, Hodge, you know, IE, Jewel Gauntlet, or, an, or a Titans. Attacks is pretty good, so she can proc the the third auto that hits everybody. Giving your one shot will allow you to kill the carries by hitting the tank. Or you can, you know, go to Gwinsu's and see it happen more. But most of the time, full power, it's a lot better. 
she will not uh, uh, power on as much as being in the front line and all. Diana. Diana, it's pretty decent as a carry. I definitely go A. As a three star, she can do pretty good. Her mana lock, well, she has a shield, uh, you know, stops her. It takes a long time for for her to cast again. Sometimes she can't even because by the time her shield's broken, it's because the carries have started focusing her and she'll probably die before she casts again. But if you have three star, most of, most of the time you'll have three cast and she'll do pretty good. So give her IE, step assassin, uh, Hodge or some healing by B, like BT. Shojin if you're feeling spicy, but I don't feel like that's great. Uh, Tynes, it's good. Uh, give her that defense in the back line. She can work a bit of a tank. She can win a lot of time. Like I said, big shield. Yeah. You can also give her a rebel's pad. It's pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's her. Uh, We have Aatrox. Aatrox is a decent tank. He's not great. He can uh, be pretty good. Uh, he heals a lot. Give him Titans and he'll continuously cast and heal himself. It can be okay. I think he's like a, a as an A tank. He can also do a lot of damage. He can carry a little bit, to be honest. He's like a in between between uh A tank and a bit of a carry or a D carry. Hmm. It can be okay. Uh, give him a lot of times maybe, and BT so he can heal even more with his attack with his cast. But that's it. It's not amazing. Nothing to write home about. He's a one cost after all. So any more. It's just good as an A for a one cost. He sends good utility. Great utility, the knock the knockback, and he's Tempest. So kind of the same as Kiana. Can be pretty good. Late game? Not really. So that's why he's not S tier. Uh itemize him as a tank. So you can keep casting, keep doing. Give him a little bit of healing if you want, because his cast does do a lot of damage at three cost. So he's not bad. You can slap at him. If you have like an extra slot or don't, you know, don't have anything at the moment. Lulu is a pretty good utility. Uh, I'm tempted to put her on, yeah, on S. Because she has Mystic. She has the attack speed. She has the poly. She's amazing. I love her. She does pretty good. Four targets, 70% attack speed. Jesus. What else can I say? Does, you don't really itemize her often. But give her mana. Give her a blue buff so you can instantly cast. Get that attack speed. Get your carries going. Uh, invoker as well she has so you can slap her in in a lot of places and lulu will go off so she's pretty nice i'm erdinger you can do a lot of decent damage decent he's okay i'm gonna put him like he, he has an okay stun i'm gonna put him here sure he's all right he's there for trainer for mage he can stun two targets and do decent damage but meh you don't feel good to have him. But it's okay, trainer. Elise! Elise is a great uh, unit. If you want to three-star her... Like, these carries right here, you have to three-star them. I mean, Yone as well. But you feel really good because you can be your late-game carry. Elise can be as well if you three-star her. She can be pretty good. Give her IE, uh, Jewel Gauntlet Hodge, since she has a mix of magic and, and physical damage. And she can one-shot. Ginsus is pretty good, too. Ginsus Hodge. Uh, Gizu Touch and IE or another any other item because she is a whisperer, she will stock up with that. So maybe even Titans can be good. Keep her alive, keep her healing. Pretty good. At least he's cool. Let's go with Pike. Uh, I don't know if Pike is an S, he is very susceptible, he can be okay with items. Uh, blue buff, IE, Hotch. Those are the good items. Since he's a whisper, he can be good too with that. If you have a good front line, he is S tier. I, I, I can put him on S tier. He can uh, keep jumping around, executing. Can be good or cannot be. He is a... He's a scenario. He's an in-between. I would say it's not something you feel really great about. So I'm going to put him on A, honestly. That's where I'm leaning towards more. Thresh. Thresh is a good tank. Uh, his tank and utility feels good. Uh, Guardian feels really good. You can slap at him. He, would I say he's S? No, not really. Because of his trait, it doesn't feel that amazing. So I'll put him on like a utility tank. 
but he's better as a tank. His pool doesn't, it's not the, it's not like Blitzcrank, but it can be pretty good. Put him on A. I'm gonna, I wish I could move that line. I'm gonna leave him there. A little tight there, buddy. But that's okay. Uh, Silas. Damn it, another A tank. Uh, he, he needs mage in order for him to work. Because he's cast this. He applies Mana Reef, does a little bit of damage, and if he attacks, uh, if he casts on somebody with Mana Reef, he'll get a, a big shield. So, kind of like, um, this one girl, I forgot her name. Uh, that one Yordle Mage. I forgot. Anyways, yeah. The Unique Mage can be good, can be okay. It feels good to, kind of good to slap in. And Itemizing is not bad, so it's definitely an A. Damn, I really need some more space here. Uh, but you guys get it. He's a... Damn it. I'll fix that later. Anyways. Uh, Tristana. Tristana is... Okay. You can itemize her. Feel decent about... You know, abilities that don't hit the main target. And can hit someone else. Or you don't get stuck. Can feel alright. It's not amazing. It's like a... Something you kind of put in there. Because you're playing trainer. And you have to do it. But Ginsu's IE, Last Whisper, pretty good. Or Ginsu's IE, or Ginsu's Last Whisper, healing. But she's still back line, so you can skip the healing. Uh, if you have confidence on your front line, uh, can be pretty good. Just go with that. Runangs can be decent. The only kind of Basically, the only character that's good with Runangs early. So you can also do Runangs, uh, Deathblade. And last whisper. That sounds pretty good. Although, you know, like I said, uh Ginsus can be great for the long battles. But overall, that's it. I hope you learned something from that whole thing, that whole spiel that you can, you know, make your comps, be flexible, and use the units that feel good in S tier. Uh focus your comps around them, because they will carry you. But yeah. Have fun in set seven. I'm going to try to hit Grandmaster as soon as possible. I'm going to grind it out. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And like the video if you got here. Thank you.